What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a super easy way to record your old school RuneScape gameplay using OBS. I'll walk you through it from start to finish, including downloading and settings. If at the end you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment here, or you can come in my Discord or reach me on my social media platforms. Check out the description for all of those. I'll make sure I reply to everybody who sends a message. I'll also be making another video showing how to easily stream OSRS on Twitch or here on YouTube. When that one's made, I'll stick it in the comments of this video and also on Discord and Twitter. So to begin with, just download OBS. If you haven't already, just type it into Google and it should bring you to obsproject.com and just pick your operating system and download and install it. Once you're in OBS, set up a scene. I'm going to press the plus button and I'll just name this OSRS. Then add a source, select window capture. And I'm just going to name this RuneLight. And find your game client. I'm using RuneLight, but this will work with a regular client and most other clients too. Now here's the slightly confusing bit, clearly the game in fixed mode doesn't fit the normal recording dimensions of a video. As you can see there's a lot of blank space when we resize it. So to fix this simply right click, select transform and then stretch to screen. One final problem we have here with RuneLight is we don't want this RuneLight bar at the top. There's a super simple fix here, just drag up a bit. If you're not sure exactly how it will look, just click the lock icon here and you can see the final product. If you're super picky like me, you might want to remove these tiny gray bars around the edge. Make sure you have source alignment snapping turned off in the settings here, or else it won't work very well. Now, of course, you might be concerned that it's a bit stretched, but don't worry too much about that. As you can see here, all of the top OSRS content creators do it, and they get hundreds of thousands of views per video. So let's now have a quick look through the settings we need. The general tab isn't too important, so let's move to output. Most of you will have this on the simple mode here, so let's look at that. If you're not too bothered, you can simply leave them all default. The most important thing is the recording path here, which is where your recordings get saved. For recording quality, if you have loads of disk space, just try the lossless mode. If you've got less room, try indistinguishable quality or high quality. Just test it out to see how much space it takes up. If you want the advanced settings, go to advanced and then the recording tab. You can pause this and copy the settings if you want. This will give pretty high file sizes but good quality. I've taken these from another video which I've linked in the description. If you're not too worried though, just stick with the simple settings. So for audio, just pick the current devices you're using for speaker and mic, and you can leave the other settings here the same. Now for the video tab, if you want 1080p recording, make sure base and output are set so that 1080 is at the end here. If you want lower quality, just pick a lower output resolution. For FPS, set it to 60 or 30 if your computer can't handle 60. In the advanced tab here, you can just leave everything as the defaults. All you've got left to do now is hit the start recording button down here. Double check along the bottom here that it's recording. It will also show your CPU and FPS. And I typically find CPU to be less than 5% on my very average computer. Stop recording when you're done and you'll find your recordings in the folder you selected from the settings. And finally, I'll leave you with proof of concept. It's just my dead man account AFKing some fishing. 